Sarcastic Dragon here, and uh, first off, excuse the mic quality, it won't be like this for the entire video, I just have to record the in-game footage with uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay, and for some reason it records the mic audio and it just sounds like shit, I don't know why, I don't know how to fix it, but it'll only be like this for the gameplay portion, so, um, uh, anyways, um, I've got four overnight shifts coming up in a row as opposed to my usual two, um, so that's why there's gonna be no dumpster diving tomorrow, um, but, uh, yesterday I released a new mod, um, called Music Selector, kind of, that uh, wasn't really, whatever, um, and, uh, yeah, it lets you select music, like, select what track you want to play, sort of, um, and, uh, it's got a few quirks and stuff like that, so, uh, I just got this irresistible urge to make a video, and so I figured I'd, I'd show you kind of the ins, I'd show you the mod first, obviously, and then, um, I'll show you the, how it works, sort of, and then I'll ex that'll explain why it has some of the quirks that it has. Um, it's available on Xbox right now. It is not available on PS4. I will get to why that is later. But for now, let me just show you... Ah! Okay, wait a minute. I feel like the contrast is a bit off here. Er... Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, welcome to my Skyrim. I've spent probably 12 plus hours just mixing different mods and EMBs trying to get it look at, looking as good as possible. And uh, this is what I've come up with so far. And uh, I, I think it looks pretty good. So this is old this is old Rim, old Skyrim, not special edition. Um, and the reason I went with old Rim is because of this. This parallax water here where the water actually has like depth to it, you know, because it's got like the waves and stuff like that. I don't know why. But that's impossible on Special Edition. You can't do this. And ever since I saw how good this looked, I just I just can't live without it now. Now, I just converted this to Old Rim, because I made it for Special Edition, obviously, because I put it on an Xbox. Um, and I just converted it, and I have not tested if it works, but we're about, we're about to find out here. I, I see no reason why it shouldn't, but we'll see. Ha! Ah, that looks great, doesn't it? Okay, alright, alright, alright. Enough. Enough stalling. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to uh, go to... Go to music here. I'm just gonna turn all those. Now the reason that we're turning the music volume all the way down is because the way I had to set up the mod, um, the actual music that you hear when you trigger the tracks to play, it's listed as a sound effect, not music. So the music slider doesn't have um, any effect on it. And uh, if you have, like, if the game is already playing some music and then you play a track, it, they'll both play at the same time, and that, that doesn't sound good. So uh, that, that's why that's why you turn turn the music volume all the way down. Alright, so basically, um, got all these different ones, so, um, I put a little, I don't know why it made the text so small, but I put a little description of the, um, of the song in question and how long it is, because, and the reason I put how long it is, is because you can't, because of the way it works, again, you can't stop the track once it's started, the only way you can stop the song is to either wait till it's over or to reload the game, so that's why I put the length, so you know what you're getting into, um, so, let's see here, I want... From past to present, because it's kind of the greatest piece of music ever made. So how you do it is you equipped it, and then you unequipped. Okay, so uh, we're in special edition now. This is Rick. He is a save game that I downloaded off the Nexus, so I didn't have to go through the intro. And I, I think it was because I, I couldn't get the alternate start mod to work for some reason or another. Either way, I just use him for testing purposes. So, now we're in special edition, and... Yeah, it's not nearly as pretty. See? It doesn't have the depth. Alright, no. But, uh, okay. Wait, wait, let's focus here. Um, so, alright. So, I want I want from past to present. I have two here. Um, so, you equipped it. And then you unequipped it. If my if my mic is, like, drowning it out, just, just turn it off. I'll shut up for a second. So, so, yeah, you know, there you go. Um, now, another quirk of that is because it's, since it's just a sound effect, they, they don't mind overlapping each other. By which I mean, if they want to... Wanna... Oh, yeah, I never disabled that. Um, yeah, that's Skyrim Very Special Edition. I, I forgot. I forgot to turn it off. Uh, Alright, yeah, now they're mixing. There it is. It's not the remix version. 
that's from another mod, and I, I wouldn't put that in because it's, it's not mine. Uh, okay, all right, we're we're loaded up here now. Uh, so let, let's let's take a look. See, so uh, if you don't care how it was made, then you can leave, I guess. But I, th this will explain why it has some of the quirks that it has. So, um, how how does this work on a fundamental level? Here, zero 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 zero. However many I did. Okay, so we got all of these here. Um, so all from here up to the top, these are all part of the mod. Um, so these right here are the parts uh, that you actually have in game that you use, that you equipped and everything. And then these things are the sound descriptors. Now I'll get to those in a second. So first off, why are they weapons? Why are they classed as weapons? Well, the reason for that is I wanted to do armor because then I could just like have it something that you could just leave on and then in the background and it wouldn't like take up any of the armor slots that you normally use. But that didn't work because it wouldn't let me add sound effects to that. So I had to go with weapons. Um, now, my original intention was to uh, set it so that um, uh, you... So right here you see select sound. Um, my original intention was to set it to the idle sound because I thought that that would just make it loop whenever you had it equipped it. And that's why it's uh, listed as a potion because um, that was the only way I could make it so that you could equipped it without it taking up one of your other weapon slots but then that didn't end up panning out and then i duplicated it 52 times and now i'm not going to change it so uh, because then i'd have to go through each and every single one and it, it doesn't really matter um but uh then when i did that it just didn't really do anything so instead that's why i opted for the uh equipped and unequipped sound um, or just the unequipped sound. I don't know why I went with that as opposed to the equipped one. I, that's just how I did it. Um, but, and so this was like extremely tedious to make. And so the reason why is because you don't just, you don't just go in and add the sound thing. What you have to do is you have to add a sound descriptor as that. So how you, so what you would do if I want it to, oh, whoops, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to save it. Um, uh, if I want to make it play that music, so this one is, dr uh, th this track is Dragonborn, so that's the main menu music and, like, the trailer music. Um, so, uh, what you need to do is you need to make a sound descriptor. And, uh, let's see, th this is the one for Dragonborn. Um, so then you make this, name it whatever, and then you add this, and that's where you go in and you add the song. And then you add that, and there you go, and then you add it to the weapon. Um, now... This is this uh, is why the file is so large. Um, it's a 60 megabyte mod, and that's very large for a mod where all you're doing is just you know playing music. Um, but the reason for that is because when you're making sound descriptors, it's very picky about it. Now, what I tried to do originally was I tried to go into uh, data and then sound. No, no music, and then the music is in here, but if you choose um, one of these, for example, this, invalid directory, and so it doesn't like that. So um, what I had to do was I had to copy it and then put it in sound and then effects and then right here because that's the only way it'll let you select that. Um, uh, and so that's why I had to repackage the soundtrack in and that's why it's so large because you're re-downloading the entire soundtrack because... Um, it, if I tell, if I tell the game, this is where you find it and it can't find it there because it's not there, then it's not going to know what to do. And you really don't want that because if Skyrim doesn't know what it's supposed to do, it only has two fallback plans. One, don't do anything or two, crash. So yeah, that, that's, that's why I had to do it that way. And, um, now I'll explain the PS4 thing because they're packaged as a separate thing that technically makes them external assets which is why this is not on PS4. So, and this didn't take as long to explain as I did. That's, that's basically all there is to it, really, I think. Um, okay, I should probably edit this and then go to bed so I don't, like, crash the car on the way to work.